If you've used autofill, you probably know you could put in a date and then use the autofill by grabbing onto the bottom right hand corner, dragging it down and filling in the dates. But you might just want to have the weekdays. And you can see in this example here, it just has the weekdays down here. You can see that I happen to know that the 11th and 12th of July are weekends. I've also got it to display the actual day of the week here, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So let's just go to another sheet. Let's just go here to sheet two, and I'm going to put in a date, and then I'm going to get it to fill the dates down here. Now I could just type in a date, and by the way, everything I'm doing here works the same on Windows or a Mac. To put in a date automatically, today's date, and it's the same button on the Mac as well, Control and the semicolon, and it's popped it in there for me and I'm just going to press enter. There's the date. Now you know that if you just go to the bottom left hand corner, click and drag it down, it will fill in the dates. So it's put in the days of the week there. I just want the weekdays. So I could undo that, but I'm just going to drag that back up. That clears it too. And this time I'm going to right click on that corner. It turns into an arrowhead like that and I'm going to drag down. Let's just take it to there and it pops up with the menu and you can see here it says fill weekdays. Now you could also fill months or years and we can come back and have a look at that in another video and the links for that will be below. Let's choose fill weekdays. There you go, it's put them in and as you can see just like before the 11th and 12th are missing there and also that 18th and 19th and so on. So how did I get it to display the actual day of the week? Well I used custom formatting for that, like the number formatting. So the first thing I'm going to do is just copy that date across and I can just go equals, click there, so it's doing A4, press enter, so it's got exactly the same there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going up here, I'm on the home tab, I'm going to dates, where it says date at the top there, clicking and going down here to more number formats. What I'm going to do is choose custom, and then you'll see here it's got the type. So DDMMYY displays it as 0707-2020. Let me get rid of that. If I press 1D, it does a 7. 2Ds, it was had two numbers, so if it's just a single digit, it will do a leading 0. 3 gives you the shortened day of the week, and 4 gives you the full day of the week. Click on OK. Now, we can just click and drag that down to copy that down. And let's put the day of the week in there. A little quick tip, let me just take that back. What you can do to fill down to here really quickly, on the bottom right hand corner where it's got the autofill, just double click and it fills it down to the end of that range there. So that's how you can do the date with only weekdays. That's how you can do the day of the week, display it as well. And if you want to know how to fill months and fill years, check out the other two videos. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please like, subscribe and share.